people sometimes ask me where I like to play the slot machines. And the answer is, well, I play in just about every casino that I find because that gives me the chance to see the widest variety of slot games uh, out there. Now, on the other hand, there are certain casinos that I do like to play more often than others, and that's because they're going to pay back more and your money lasts longer. Now, in order to figure out which of those casinos uh, they might be, particularly if you're visiting the state of Nevada, I'm going to try to explain a few things and show some statistics uh, from the state of Nevada and a few other states uh, in this video. But before I do that, I'm going to have to first explain what hold percentage is. Now, when most people think about uh, how loose a slot machine is, they think in terms of payback percentage, or sometimes it's called return to player, RTP. But that's not how the casino thinks of it. The casino thinks of it in terms of hold percentage. The hold percentage is the amount of money that they think that they're going to get out of that slot machine from you, the player. Now let's start by looking at the penny slot machines that can be found on the Las Vegas Strip. There were about 25 of those in 2023 that brought in more than $72 million per year on just slot machines alone. Now this chart also shows you the hold percentage along the left. So what we see is that the hold percentage has been about 11.5% for the past few years. And that means that if you were to walk in the casino with $500 and play at kind of a regular rate, your money might last about six hours. Now let's add in some of the smaller casinos on the Las Vegas Strip as well as downtown Las Vegas. And you'll notice they're all kind of about the same, though the medium size casinos along the Strip do look like they're a little bit more generous on the paybacks. Now let's add in South Lake Tahoe and Laughlin, two other areas that it, uh, I kind of include in the list of tourist casinos. Now, perhaps you might have heard that uh, if you want looser slot machines, you want to go and find some of the so-called local casinos. So let's see what they look like. What you see here is those local casinos look like they have about a hold percentage of, uh, let's say, 9.5%. And that means that your $500 is going to last another hour, uh, let's say seven hours. But if you want to know where I really prefer to play slots, it's going to be the Reno area, and that includes Sparks and Carson City. Here the hold percentages are going to be about 6.5 or 7%, and that means that your $500 are going to last about, uh, let's say, 10 to 11 hours. And I can tell from personal experience, uh, having played in Las Vegas and the Reno area, that your money lasts a lot longer, almost twice as long in the Reno area. But perhaps you like to play in the high limit room, so let's take a look at the dollar machines. Now here's a comparison chart between pennies and dollars for those big strip casinos in Las Vegas. As you can see, the dollar machines give you much more favorable odds. However, you're betting more, so that $500, it's only going to last you about two hours. Now, as a point of contrast, it's worth noting that the Reno casinos behave a little bit differently between the penny and the dollar. The advantage for the dollar doesn't appear to be quite as uh, dramatic as it is in Las Vegas. And just for completeness, here is a chart that shows the dollar machines for all of the areas that I've talked about before in Nevada. And it does appear that things are all over the map. And it might be worth noting that uh, one reason is that there are a lot fewer dollar machines than there are penny machines. So small variations and big wins and all of that can make a big difference on the chart. Now let's compare how Nevada compares with some other states that have slot machines. And as you're looking at this chart, you'll notice that there are some states that are missing. And that's because uh, not every one of the states reports on their slot machine numbers. And so it's kind of difficult to guess exactly what's going on there. I should point out that the hold percentages that you see in this chart here are for all of the denominations combined into one. Also, this chart only shows you what was going on in the year 2022. Now, as it turns out, slot machines have been getting tighter over the past 10 or 20 years. And this chart here kind of gives you an indication of just how that change has been happening. 
The biggest change for when the slots became tighter was back in 2006 and 7, and that's because that was when the Great Recession happened, and the casinos were struggling, and so they all decided to tighten things up. But it's interesting to note that some casinos have been having second thoughts about how tight their slot machines have been set. It's kind of discouraging for players to lose money so quickly. So you're seeing a little bit of a loosening up of some of the slot machines, at least in some places. And that was particularly true in Reno. Well, I hope you found this information useful. Perhaps you have some questions, and if so, you can leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you won't miss a video, and visit our website to learn more about slots and casinos. If you like this video, please give it a like, and we'll also answer your questions and comments.